Hey my lovelies, this is TC, your Guiding Chariot. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your daily reading for Monday. Brand new Monday, as always. Uh, this is going to be Monday for April 29th. I just did yesterday's video, so I'm like, I just said the date. Um, going to be a exciting day. So I'm filming this a little early because I'm, I have a whole bunch of plans tomorrow, so I'm trying to get ahead of myself, just so you guys get this video on time. I'm, in, I'm very interested to see what... Monday's energy is going to feel like. I hinted at it in yesterday's video, so we're going to talk about it today. Um, Saturn is going retrograde today. I think it's, I can't remember the exact time. I should have looked it up, but it, I do think it's kind of later on. Um, but Saturn is going retrograde in its home sign of Capricorn, I think, and it's, it's in the 20s. It's in the, the later part um, of the wheel. So obviously when a planet goes retrograde, sends that energy inward. The nice thing about when Saturn goes retrograde, Saturn's influence kind of lightens up a bit. You know, Saturn is always that kind of tense, restrictive, um, sometimes constrictive <laughs> um, energy. When it goes retrograde, that kind of eases up. Things flow a little easier. The, things aren't as challenging. Um, where this retrograde is kind of placed and what is kind of going on, I think a lot of this, since it's in Capricorn, it's really going to look over your habits and habits, especially concerning your thought patterns and your words, how you use your words, the, what you tell yourself. And when I say words, I mean, this is internal and external, what you tell yourself, what you share and speak to others. Um, I kind of want to say it's just, it's bringing those lessons that make you reflect and think about, you know, what have you been telling yourself? What have you been saying to others? How has it, ha how has it affected people? How has it affected you? Um, and it's giving you a chance to really look over and shift some things if they aren't really supporting you and helping you to grow or if they're just creating more blocks, I think is really where that is coming from. One thing that I would add to this retrograde, and it's something to be aware of because we're going to be in it for a while. Um, this retrograde, because it is Saturn and because Saturn is a harsher energy, it does lighten up externally, but you still have that kind of taskmaster kind of going within. So there could be, and I'm not saying it will happen, just it could be. Um, and it's, it's going to depend on your own sign, your own natal planets, on how this really affects you and, and really what you what you give into and what you kind of bring action to to rise above. So it's gonna depend on many factors. So when I say this, I'm not like guaranteeing you're gonna feel this way. For those of you who do feel it though, I just wanna give you a little heads up. So this aspect I feel like could bring some pessimism. It could, it could bring some depression just cause it may, you could start looking at things and seeing things and knowing you could have done something differently or better, not going into that downward spiral and letting yourself just be like, well, I made a mistake. I'm the worst person ever. I shouldn't even, you know, like don't go down that road. That's not what, that's not what the retrograde is trying to show you. Yes. It's going to bring up some things that maybe you didn't do a hundred percent perfect, but it's not bringing them up so that you can use it to self defeat. It's bringing them up so you can really look at it, process it, and then change the behavior. All right. So don't let that kind of get you in a pattern. Um, and don't let that make, because I feel like that pessimism can make, if you have to make so many, like any important decisions during this period, that definitely can get in the way. It can kind of hurt your decision-making process. So again, take a breath, let it go, feel it through, think it through. It doesn't mean you can't make that decision, just means you're gonna have to bring a little more, a little more intention, a little more action to it, all right? So nothing too crazy. Um, we really, I really only want to talk about one aspect, and it's a really simple one. We've had it before, but the moon is in a sextile to Saturn. Or not Saturn. Got too excited. The moon is in a sextile to the sun. Beautiful energy. Again, this is just that really positive. Things are vibing right. Things are feeling good. Let it be. Just, I'll take a breath and go lie in my hammock and enjoy the sunshine. Really great energy. I wanted to bring that up because of this retrograde. Just because Saturn's going retrograde doesn't mean the whole world falls apart there's still a lot of positive energy and this positive energy can actually help you process the lessons that Saturn. Thanks Archangel Michael. We'll take that. Just had to swing by for a little bit. Um, 
there's still positive energy and honestly I think we're starting off this retrograde with this sextile because it's going to set you up on the right foot. If you start off this retrograde you know with that pessimistic mind frame and allow yourself to go down that loop you're probably not going to learn much and you're just going to get to repeat a whole bunch of things until the next retro. Not what we want to do. So I think this positive boost is getting us started on the right foot. It's beautiful, it's supportive, it's helpful. The universe always has your back. But again, it's bringing up these things to help show you what we, we can do differently, to help show us what can be changed, what needs to be tweaked. Hey, you remember when this happened, did you like that? Eh, probably not so much. So what can we do differently? What would feel better for you, for the, the people you're working with or connecting with? That's really why these lessons repeat. It's not to be like, oh great, I'm always gonna be, you know, in this dead end relationship with this boring partner who just, you know, da 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 da. You don't repeat those patterns because, you know, you're being punished or anything. It's you're repeating it because there's something you need to learn and something you need to take from it, and you haven't done that yet. So the universe is like, oh, okay, you need to learn that again. Okay, let's go. Let's repeat this cycle. Once you learn it, you you come out of that. You move on. That's why these retrogrades happen. All right. It's to bring up those things so you can move forward. It's always working to support you. Even squares, I've talked about it before, that's why I like to talk about squares. Yes, they're challenging, yes, they require some action and some intention, but again, they do that to bring your focus to something so you can rise above. If it was super easy, you would trip on it over and over again because you'd never even focus on it. It makes it harder to bring your attention to it. All right, cool. Let me tilt this down. Let's pull some cards. So I'm literally filming this right after yesterday's reading. So Leo is still chilling back there. Chilling like a little villain. You looking at your sister? No, you're just, okay, you have fun there. Um, so I have the same decks out. Again, I'm still really into this Moonology deck, so she hasn't gone anywhere. And we have so much positive energy this weekend. I'm busting out the Happy Tarot deck. Oh, I didn't talk about our rune. I got so excited. Um, so this is a rune. Hi. Um, so we got Soello, rune of the sun. So it's very similar to the sun card in the tarot deck. Self-confidence, health, happiness, success. One thing I would add, this card, for some reason, and I don't know why. Normally I don't spend the whole time talking about it, but super exciting for me. This rune can speak to... Um, success and growth, but especially in areas of the arts, whether it's performing arts, visual arts, creative arts, no matter what, if you have some creative expressive outlet for you, there is a good chance that you can really get some notoriety and some recognition for it when this rune pops up. Um, this rune also has some timing. We got Ingwa's yesterday, the rune of the sun god. So today we have the rune of the sun. Usually this, en this energy really speaks to the year ahead. So how Ingwa's speaks to fertility in six months to a year. Soelu is kind of like the sun is kind of shining on you and expect some positive and successful growth over the year ahead. Does that mean every single day for the next 365 is gonna be absolutely perfect? No, but if you were to step back at the end of the year and look at a trend map, trend is gonna be really positive. It's gonna be going up, all right? So great little omen for what's to come. And we talked about that yesterday and how we're planting some seeds and things are growing and success is coming. Movement is happening. We're at that point where things are manifesting. You know, it may not be the full delivery today, but you're starting to get those little shipments. You know, Amazon is knocking on the door. Hey, I have a, I have a packet with, package with your name on it. That's what's going on for us, all right? And we love that. Anytime the, the universe has a gift for me, I am more than happy to accept it. <laughs> Granted, anytime anyone has a gift for me, I'm happy to accept it. <laughs> oh, we got two. <laughs> Beautiful. So first things first, balsamic moon. I'm gonna need to look that up. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds delicious. But balsamic moon, a time for healing. We definitely talked about this yesterday. But for me, this healing is really about releasing. You know, I talked about with that Saturn retrograde, that Saturnian restrictive energy kind of eases up for a little bit while Saturn's in retrograde. So it's opening us up. So to me, this really feels like a release. We have the new moon in Capricorn. Same, <laughs> I love it when they line up so perfectly. Same sign that Saturn has gone retrograde in. 
So hard work paying off. New moon, new beginnings, fresh starts. You know, I don't need to pull more cards, but I just, I just want to. I just, I just feel like I want more. Granted, you just want to have that feeling and do it anyway. Nothing happens. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome. Yep, definitely. It's win-win season. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Just needed that extra bit of confirmation. Leo, you look so chill back there. Yeah, I am talking about you. I saw that. <laughs> All right. All right, Spirit, tell us about these new beginnings that are coming. Oh my God, look at that bottom of the deck before I even start to do the shuffle. The full card. If that doesn't strike new beginnings, I don't know what does. Nine of Pentacles, first out. Feeling real good, feeling strong, feeling confident, knowing your worth, knowing your value. Being able to look back and be like, look at what I did. Look at what I accomplished. Look how far I've made it, you know, from a couple months ago. Ooh, they came face down. We got some secrets going on. Yes. I need to remember if this is the king or the queen. This is the one thing about this deck. I'm never positive. I'm going to say it's the king. It's giving me king vibes. I'm calling it the king. So we got the king of swords. Beautiful. This is the foresight. This is that this is that vision to the finish line. I know where I'm headed. I know where I'm going. I'm going to create this strategy and this plan. I'm going to analyze all these details coming to me on how to make this this journey successful, this trip, a, you know, a winning victory. We also have the Empress card. So definitely got some Venus energy in here, but we're creating. You know, I talked about Suelo. If you're in creative arts, definitely a big boon coming for you. But again, we're bringing this new life and it's coming from this really grounded, strong, centered, confident. And I, I was going to say the word faithful, but faithful in the sense where you have faith and belief in yourself. Not necessarily, not that you don't have faith in spirit, because I'm sure you do. But this is really a belief and confidence in your own abilities, your own efforts, knowing what you've built, what you've created, and that you did it all on your own. And now having the vision to see ahead, look where we're going. I know where I was, I know where I've gotten to, and now I know where I'm headed next. And creating the opportunities, creating the abundance, creating the success that you see there at the finish line. So amazingly positive. Who is this? High Priestess couldn't wait. If you notice, High Priestess was bottom of the deck before we shuffled. She was like, nope, you're gaining some understanding. I'm sharing you my wisdom. And it's all coming through very intuitively. It's coming from the inside. Because again, you, have, you already have this sense of inner knowing. That's already been instilled in you. And it's been instilled by yourself. No one else did it. You're the only one that can get in there. Seven of Cups, having some options, having choices. Probably not knowing just yet which choice to make. And that's why the High Priestess is here. She's going to help show you which one, which cup is the right one for you. I almost, I kind of almost want to say there's multiple cups that are going to be meant for you. And not like, you could pick cup two, seven, or four. Any would be great. Literally, I think the universe is like, so I've got some blessings for you. You're going to take these four cups. These are yours. Not these three. These three are poison. But these four, take them all. Those are all for you. So you guys may be some busy bees. You may have a bunch of new opportunities coming to you. But again, remember, you're showing up here with goddess energy. Goddess energy can take on, she can multitask. She's, she's running an entire planet. She's making grass grow, the water, you know, waterfall from the sky, the sunshine, the earth warm, the animals run. Like she got lots, to, lots on her to-do blade and she does it fine, all while sitting on her lovely cushy little throne here. So. For the universe to be like, hey, I'm blessing you with four four fun new adventures. And you're like, great, I can handle all of them. Thank you, universe. <laughs> Stop it. I love it. Beautiful. So about this. So, Ace of Pentacles, 
We will take it. You want to give me a gift? You want to make it financial, abundant resources? I will take it. We also have the Knight of Cups, so this also could come in the form of some romance. This could be a new suitor coming in. This could also just you be you chasing what nurtures you, what feels emotionally satisfying. Like, oh, stop it. All right, we're gonna get to that in just a second. So, King of Pentacles here. Again, really tapping into this idea of manifesting, grounded, stable, security, you know, having coins in the bank. Hey, look, Leo, you're in this card. Sorry, there's a little kitty down here. Got a little excited. <laughs> but what got me all... Yep, we're going to pull... The, yep, okay. All right, all right, I'm happy. So the reason I freaked out, we have the Queen of Swords. We've already got the King of Swords. So definitely for some of you, romance could be coming in. Don't worry that this is swords. It's not going to only apply to our air signs just because sword rules the suit of air, but this is a divine counterpart, king and queen of swords. So definitely a counterpart could be coming in. Sun card under underneath that, positivity, optimism, life, vitality. Sun is shining on your back. Sun is shining on your back. I'm going to take all of it. Lots, lots of good, positive, happy, nourishing, vital, life-giving elements coming to us. And honestly, it's starting because this, I remember that we had a string of dailies and this was, I wanna say this was like a month, probably a little longer than that, where this card was coming up towards the end of the reading because what was really happening were shifts and, and perspectives that we needed to adopt to make us believe and feel this on the inside. Now that, you know, this, the Nine of Pentacles used to come here, now that it's showing up here, tells me that we've moved through all of that. We've gotten to a place where we, we can look in a mirror and be like, you know what? I may not be perfect. I may not look the way I wanna look. I may not have the life I perfectly want to have. I may not have that partner that I want next to me, but I'm a, quite a badass. Like in the past, in the past six months, I have done so much. Hell, in the past two months, I have changed my life. I've turned it upside down. And I'm in such a much happier, more positive space, doing what I love to do, creating what I want to create, connecting with the right people who make me feel supported and alive and loved and special. All of that we now have and feel internally, which is really what, honestly, I've been telling people this for a while, but I honestly feel like that's what a lot of 2018 was about. To me, especially in my personal life, and for any of my friends that are watching, you know this, because you know what was going on last year. 2018, and I think a lot of people felt it, but it was, a, it was the tear down and breaking of a lot of things that were not serving and were not helping us. And we're just standing in the way of a lot of things, including this internal positive feeling. Now in 2019, this, to me, I've been, even on like day one, January 1st, I was calling 2019 the year of manifestation because it just felt different. Things felt open, things feel more supportive. And again, day to day, I may not be in the perfect spot. I may not be making the, you know, six million bajillion dollars that I want to be making. I may not be married to this beautiful husband of mine. You know, all these things still haven't come in yet. But that doesn't mean that I haven't deserved it. It doesn't mean you don't deserve it. It doesn't mean it's not coming to you. You have everything you need. Everything you desire is on its way, but what you need for your current success and interactions and fulfillment is already present because it lives inside of you. Beautiful. Oh, that was deep. I'm gonna record this and save it and I'm gonna write a book one day about that. That was awesome. That was a good one. All right, my loves, I'm gonna send you out. Amazing, amazing energy going on here. Enjoy this weekend. Oh, well, actually, no, this is Monday's video. See, I'm still on Saturday. Um, enjoy this week ahead, forgive me. Enjoy this retrograde season. So now all three planets are retrograde for this period. So enjoy it, lots of internal reflection, lots of introspection. Just take it, roll with it, grow from it. Lean on those you trust and love and support you if you need it. But, oh, oh, funny, I say that, I look down, bottom of the deck, new moon and cancer. You and your loved ones are safe, so yes. And I, honestly, with what I just said, they are your safe space. So if this feeling starts to feel a little shaky or you forget, go hang out with those people you love and those people who love you. They'll remind you how wonderful you are. 
All right, my loves, take care. If anything, save this video. Just watch it on repeat if you need it. <laughs> take care, everyone. I love you guys. As always, thank you for joining me. Thank you for leaving comments. Thank you for connecting with me on Instagram. Instagram's at The Guiding Chariot. As always, if you want to book a private session, all that info will be in the description box. But sending you my best, sending you my love. Take care. Wishing you nothing but happiness. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.